Charlie Foxtrot Whiskey Tango Foxtrot Miami Center, clear direct Wilmington. Uh, direct Wilmington, Whiskey Tango Fox, thank you. She was laughing at the registration, right? You know that. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. okay. This is the return trip in the Phenom 300 from the Bahamas back to Canada. It's never easy to say goodbye to paradise. With our weekend excursion to the Bahamas drawing to an end, it's important to remember how we got here. I acted as safety pilot on board with my good friend Osama, with the airplane loaded with a bunch of his friends. In the previous episode, we covered the outbound leg. Let's get out of here, let's go! And what made it really special was this was the first time I'd flown with Osama since he got his type rating in this airplane. Amazingly, he went from single engine IFR private pilot all the way up to ATPL and type rated in the Phenom in about three months. We covered that in part one as well. Anyway, here we are back at the airport getting ready for the second leg to return home to the cold. And uh, clearance, it's Phenom Charlie Fox, Whiskey Tango Fox, IFR2 Toronto. Phenom Charlie Fox, Whiskey Tango Fox shot on request. And now I'm just going to do all the speed bugs, which I pre calculated. V1 is 110, rotate is 110, V2 is 120. And final segment is 138. And we're just waiting on our clearance right now. Uh, Charlie Foxtrot, Whiskey Tango, Foxtrot, copy. Go ahead. Charlie Foxtrot, Whiskey Tango, Foxtrot, cleared Toronto, Pearson, fire Gulf 437 as filed. Climb to and maintain 4000. Expect for the clearance. Flight plan altitude one zero minutes after departure. Squawk one four two two. Okay, uh, Charlie Fox with Tango Fox is cleared to the Toronto Pearson Airport via the Gulf four three seven airway. As filed, maintain four thousand. Expect uh, uh, filed altitude ten minutes after departure. Departure one four two two. Charlie Fox, Whiskey Tango Fox, I read back. Correct. Departure is one to one zero. Where you parked? We are parked at Jet Aviation for Whiskey Tango Fox. Right job. In terms of like what you want out of me on the flight, so I'll be like writing down clearances and just doing backups of all that stuff just from my practice, and I'll be there as a backup. It's hard to give you specific tasks. Uh, what I'd like is a safety pilot. What a safety pilot does is you're listening on the radio, you're following with the flight. Uh, let's say ATC says climb and maintain nine or thousand, right? And you see me put ten thousand in the yeah. box. Okay. Hey. He said nine or thousand. Yeah. Okay, cool. So that type of thing. I'm just running through the checklist here, and then uh, we should be ready for our packs after that. Uh, Gen 1, 2 switches are in auto. GPU button, we're using it. Uh, bleeds are in auto. Cross feed is in auto. Test panel is off. Circuit breakers are all in on my side. And uh, just take a look, they're all in on your side. Fuel puppet 2 is on auto. Cross feed knob is off. Shut off valves are in the open position. ELT is armed, pressurization mode is in auto, ECS on both, dump button is pushed out, air conditioning panel, we've got the AC on, flaps are zero, speed brakes are closed, parking brake, we're gonna set it right now, and start stop knobs are in the stop position, shut off, a one and two are pushed out, oxygen bottle is off, and seat belts are good. GPU is connected. CVDR panel. Transponder, we've got 1422 as per our clearance. All right. Oxygen flow, you checked yours, I checked mine. Yeah, I'll check it again. Baggage smoke. That's tested as fire. well. Fire. Fire. And unseated, I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Signs, uh, belts are on, external lights, just the naps for now. Emergency switch is in the on position. Fuel quantity unbalanced, we have 5,130 pounds and it is balanced. Oxygen pressure for dispatch, 2,000 pounds. Thrust levers are idle. Parking brake is set, uh, engine ignitions on auto. And I'm gonna do one white 360 gonna get out of the plane, go get the packs, okay? Yep, all right. 
check my two, you got me? One, two, one, two. Yep. All right, what is the marshal? Uh, looks like there's one walking. Is that ours? Nope. I guess we got this dude in the hat. Yeah, he's the manager. Okay. Okay, we've got rotation, ITT coming up, N1 coming up, well pressure coming up. Good start on number two, and now we're gonna go with number one. He's not paying attention. Yeah, that's tough, eh? How do you get their attention if you're not looking? Okay, there we go. N2 coming up, ITT coming up, N1 coming up. Oh, we got a good start on this one too. I'll wait for the GPU to go off. All right, going through the checklist. Electrical emergency, three white lines. Voltages are dropping, yellow and yellow. Stall, stall. All right, that's good. We are going up to 4,000 feet on the runway heading, which is 1-4. Then heading mode, then DMVs. ACS takeoff data, LFE, takeoff speeds, transponder 1422, altimeters are 3017 from the ATIS on all three. Yep. Trims are tested and set, flaps set for takeoff before takeoff is next. And ground, it's uh, Phenom Charlie Fox, Whiskey Tango Fox at Jet Aviation with information Alpha uh, ready to taxi. Charlie Foxtrot, Whiskey Tango, Foxtrot, Nassau Ground Control Circuit, afternoon taxi to the holding point, runway 14 via hotel, 19.5 at the threshold. Okay, taxi to the threshold of 14 uh, via hotel and 19.5 at the threshold for Whiskey Tango Fox. Uh, go past that. I think this has to be stowed for takeoff and landing. Okay. Just watch the, the wing, the mic clear of him. You are, yep, just go yeah. slow, you're good, yep. Yeah, you're good. Whiskey Tango Fox, you're now giving way to uh, King Air. He is passing Delta northbound the taxiway. Join hotel behind him, you head to the runway threshold and contact 19.5. Okay, I'll look for that King Air and follow him uh, to the threshold for Whiskey Tango Fox. Yeah, after takeoff, uh, I'm gonna ask you to run the checklist. Okay. So standard briefing, uh, 0 to 70, anything goes wrong with the airplane, we're going to stop on the runway and deal with it. 70 to V1, it's going to be four major emergencies, engine fire, engine failure, loss of directional control, and any red CAS messages. Above V1, we're going to deal with the emergency in the air. It's VFR over here, we'll come back and land here at NASA. Okay, Steve, are you ready? I am ready. NASA Tower, uh, Phenom, Charlie Fox, Whiskey Tango Fox, holding short of runway 14 and we're ready for takeoff. Charlie Fox, Whiskey Tango Fox, expect departure after the traffic, two mile left base entry, ETL 46. Okay, understood, we're gonna wait, uh, holding short of 14. Okay, there he is, I did catch Take it. Take off, okay. Charlie Fox, Whiskey Tango Fox, keep it really late, fly on the heading, cliff for takeoff, runway 14. Fly runway heading, cliff for takeoff, runway 14, Whiskey Tango Fox. He's alive. Cross check. Now we want for a W V one rotate. Get up. Flaps up. Got that pro on. Six hundred. Autopilot. Flight level change. And if you could do the checklist, please. Any gear. Up. Flaps. Up. Best leader. Tango Fox at Whiskey Tango Fox at now for departure. Off the T121 Dash Model. Departure 210, Whiskey Tango Fox. And departure, it's Phenom Charlie Fox, Whiskey Tango Fox, 2.4, climbing 4000. Charlie Fox, Whiskey Tango Fox, here to contact. Uh, climb to 1 2000, uh, turn left, direct ingress. Up to 1 2000, left direct ingra, Whiskey Tango Fox. That's Roger. 1 2000. And we're gonna go on the flight plan, direct ingra, and activate. Uh, we'll just use the heading for now and we'll straighten it out later. Okay, and we've got the 10,000. Alright. Charlie Fox, Whiskey Tango Fox, maintain 1 2000 and connect the Miami Sat on frequency 125.7. Good day. Maintain 1 2000 and 25.7, Whiskey Tango 5. Miami, it's Phenom, Charlie Fox, Whiskey Tango Fox, 1 2000. Charlie Fox, Trot, Whiskey Tango Fox, Trot, Miami Center, climb, maintain, follow level 230. 230, Whiskey Tango Fox. 
Let's go. Light level change. Dead Miami, it's uh, Phenom Charlie Fox, Whiskey Tango Fox, 192, climbing 230. Charlie Fox, at Whiskey Tango Fox, at Miami Center, clear direct new car, climb and maintain, flight level 450. Direct new car and up to 450, Whiskey Tango Fox. You have to remember to, when we get over land again, to turn the radar back on. We can do that now. And the reason why you're not worried about it now is because it's not likely to have buildups over the water? No, and because it, there is no next rat. The, the radar doesn't go far off. So you get this gray stuff that blocks view of the ocean. But it doesn't matter. It's better than for, we'll just leave it like this. It's better than forgetting. This is the edge of the radar coverage. There is no radar over here. Let's talk about philosophy. One thing that's really neat about the Phenom is 90% um, of all the switches in the cockpit are either in the 12 o'clock position or in the auto position. That's a philosophy that's really great for the pilot. Uh, most things are in auto and they stay in auto the whole time. It was cool to see Osama manage all these systems and also predict things that were coming. If you hurry up and film, you'll see the transition. See the 225? Just keep rolling on the 225. At some point, when 225 equals Mach 0.6, it's gonna transition to Mach numbers. The altitude that it switches varies with the temperature because uh, Mach varies with temperature. Right. There you go. Did you see it flip? Yep. You'll see that the airspeed is going to decay, but it's still going to be the same Mach speed. Right. Yeah, that's interesting. Because as the air gets colder and colder and colder, it'll be 208, it'll be 207. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah. By the time we get to 450, it might be 180. And yet the Mach number is going to be like 7. No, 0. 0.6 in no, the climb. Right. It'll hold it all the way to 450. We'll start out with 0.75 and slowly accelerate as we get lighter. So I have this programmed for, two four, for runway 23. For Portugal 229, I doubt we're going to be able to get it. Two feet, uh, two but I'm not, not flexing around with it. Whatever the assignment we get two, at the beginning, two, four, four, zero, I'm going to put it down and just be done with it. It's an arrival procedure with some altitude and speed restriction. American the FMS has it all programmed over here, so link it. They want to do a 250 knots at length. Uh, three, four, zero, three, five, they want you between 11,000 and 13,000 at youth. They want you to slow down to 220 at Virco, 210 at Mayrod, and 210 at Dickney. And then it's a manual sequence, which means they're gonna then vector you onto the ILS. So you currently have it link A for 24 right? So you want me to do, I'll do 24 right? So the yeah, let's do 24 right. So it'll be arrival. 600 Fox Star Romeo, Miami Center, Roger. Link A via the Wozy transition. Wozy transition. Miami, get out soon. And we're going to say 24 right. Miami Center, Roger. 35 actually smoothed out, 12 o'clock, so uh, the south, 37 if you want to we hit lane, and yeah, we go turn to the downwind, and then get connected to the island okay, for 2 four, right. There's a lot of cool things about this airplane, but probably one of the most unique things is how it lands. You don't want to flare, you are, when you get to VRF in this airplane, the plane is in a landing attitude. So how long would it take you to get used to that? Not very long, because it's such a delight to land. I mean, who wouldn't want to uh, not have to judge where the flare is, right? That's weird, yeah, wow. <laughs> and uh, if we Delta end up after Hank with Jordan, direct to the uh, runway report. 2 for right, Delta 918 affirmative, contact Miami Center, we have everything programmed right now. So it's that easy, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and it's just as easy to do it on yeah. this FMS as well. To don't touch a thing. Mm. And at that time, when you go to idle, if you have crosswind, now is the time to uh, push one of the rudder pedals, straighten out the airplane. Again, don't change the attitude, just point the plane in the right direction. How much into wind bank do you do, not much? Zero. Zero? You're gonna scrape the uh, wingtip if you do that. It has very long and yeah. swept wings. Okay. You, you're gonna have to uh, deal with some drift. And remember, you're gonna drift a lot less at 115 with a 20 knot crosswind than you are uh, 60. at 65 or 60 with a 20 knot crosswind. You come down crabbing, okay? Uh, and you'll get to uh, 100 feet in the crab, and then your brain's gonna say, let's put those uh, thrust levers to idle. Mm -hmm. Put them to idle, as soon as you're done, you're now at 50 feet, call it. And then you kick that rudder, and then you're really only drifting from 50 feet down to the runway. And if you think about it, you're probably doing about 500 feet per minute. 
So 50 feet is one tenth of a minute, which is six seconds. Six seconds. You're not going to drift that much in six seconds. It's a one, two, three, 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 three,
So we're on vector, vector is the final, so you disabled the arrival. Jazz 5 3 be yeah, 5 on yeah, the final, so activate the approach. We're just flying heading now until we intercept the final approach course. Whiskey Tango 5 3 down to 3 and then slow to 170 knots. Down to 3 and then slow to 170 knots. Whiskey Tango Fox. Whiskey Tango Fox, trim up heading 270, intercept the localizer 24 left. 270, intercept the localizer 24 left, uh, Whiskey Tango Fox. And Whiskey Tango Fox, you're clear dial us approach 24 left. Clear dial us 24 left, Whiskey Tango Fox. Tango Fox, Roger, off your right side, up high, Q400 on the other side. Check that, Whiskey Tango Fox. Whiskey Tango Fox, 170 knots, 1835 for Tower Kirk. Okay, 1835 at Kirk's and 170 knots, Whiskey Tango Fox. Here comes down. Carry 020, left turn 010, 190 knots. Left turn 010, 190 knots, carry 020. 170 to Kirks and then we'll configure for landing and then you can run the checklist. Right. Toronto, Fino, Charlie Fox, Whiskey Tango Fox, uh, at Kirks, ILS 24 left. Whiskey Tango Fox, right tower number two, following Q400, close in, caution turbulence, wind 260 at 18 gusting 24, clear to land 24 left. Clear to land on 24 left, Whiskey Tango Fox. Okay, checklist please. Uh, damper. Yeah, damper uh, will go off with our pilot. Landing gear. Landing gear is down three green. Flaps. Flaps three and indicating three. Airspeed. Airspeed, uh, heading for speed at 110. Let's stay at 125, 120, 125 until we get close to the ground. Wind check 260 at 17, gusting 24. Guys, 870 cross, runway 248, turn right delta. Cross 2 for 8 and uh, rate Delta Jazzy from there. A little fast? 500. Yeah, um, uh, correcting. Okay. Tower West at 12 0 with you. Coming up the end of the curve. 400. Push at 12 0 8 turn from weight 2 for right. 300. Crosswind. 200. Minimum. Jazzy 7 0 contact 21 9. Over to ground, Jazzy 7 0. Auto pilot. 100. Nice. Push Tango Fox, turn turn right, Delta 2, hold short of 2 4 right. Right, Delta 2, holding short of 2 4 right. Push Tango Fox. You had to work for that one, eh? Oh, yeah. I have to work for most of them. <laughs> that was good, though. Yeah, you just nailed it, and you held it, and when we, the ref was perfect when we touched down. It was, like, super smooth. Not feeling any check? Sure, you want to wait to me? Uh, go ahead. Flaps. Zero. Zero. Five, three, four. Lights. Zero, five, three, four. We'll As required. Lights. Taxi. Whiskey Tango Fox, Lights. track contact, 21-9. 21-9, Whiskey Tango Fox. That was fun. Yeah, that was a good one. So huge thanks to Osama for inviting us along for this one. Made really good time. It's uh, three hours on the nose. And he's definitely helping me get back into IFR mode this winter. It's been a great summer of warbird flying, but I'm definitely getting back into IFR. Thanks again to Patreon supporters and sponsors for helping fund this content. We've now got over 125 back catalog episodes. Please visit flightchops.com to see those. And until next time, keep your flight chops sharp. <laughs>